What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to bring you a quick guide about weapon level transmission. Um, and there's been a lot of people asking questions and stuff. So I actually had to go in and learn how to do this myself. But I hope that this video will help you guys understand how, how weapon level transmission and upgrades work. So I did get my brand new Thunder Cage here for Bunny. So I'm going to go through and upgrade it. I'm going to show this to you live and kind of explain how this works. So sorry if it is a little rough going, but I'm, I just started playing the game yesterday and I've been having an absolute blast. So uh, weapon level transmission is we're going to be transmitting the weapon level by infusing a higher level weapon to a lower level, right? So Thunder Cage is level one. I have level 30, like four, 35 weapons. So I'm going to upgrade the Thunder Cage from one to 35 or 34 i think i have a 34 in my inventory select target for transmit transmission and select the material to transmit level transmission requires phase exchangers okay so before we before we start this let me show you let's go over here uh we're down here by uh what's her name anais so when you talk to her you can come in here to research requests okay we're going to go down to um all and what you're looking for is the phase exchangers but then there's another one i think i have them all maxed out it's not actually on here anymore it's kind of crazy um but the one that you want to look for because you can do one of two things with these you can build these and you can also just uh like craft these at the at anaeus or anaeus whatever to redo a research request so you can do these here um it takes about 10 minutes to do them and this is the one that you want is the precision phase exchanger okay uh, a specialized device that replaces the level of the ultimate firearms through transmission it possesses the ability to simultaneously calculate and process multiple phases using a, a maester's technology okay so you can craft these here it takes about 10 minutes or if you're further in the game you can actually just build it yourself then you're going to come over here with your weapons and you're going to come over i may or may not have uh the full way the the points to actually craft one that may be the reason why it doesn't show up but after you have one you're going to come over to the workbench and you're going to do weapon level transmission okay so we're going to select the weapon for transmission so what we would do is we would select the thunder cage okay because this is the weapon that you want to upgrade okay then we want to come down here and look at all our weapons i have mine sorted by level if you don't know how to change your sort you got the down here you can just click this and select by whatever you want and what we want to do is, is 34 is the highest I have. So it does not matter what gun that you're selecting to upgrade this current gun. So the Thunder Cage. So what I want to do is I just want to select any of these. It doesn't matter. So we're going to select this, right? Then you're going to see over here that weapon info. The top one is the first one, which is our Thunder Cage. And then you got the bottom one, the result preview. Okay. So it's going to show that your weapon info for the cage is going to increase to these numbers here. Right, it's going to go from 252 DPS at level one to 12,000 DPS at level 34. It increased firearm attack, increased rounds. Well, it's the same, and the fire rate is the same. And then it requires transit mission materials, which is what we have here for the precision phase exchanger. Okay, you can see down underneath the research material, it costs 250 of the liquid metal. I didn't have that, so that's probably why I didn't show up over there at the uh, research crafter. But yeah, then we can just hit level weapon transmission. Now, before we do that, I want to go over one more thing, which is very important, is in here you have weapon adjustment, which is pretty nice, okay? You can change a weapon's options through readjustment. Options you do not want to be changed can be locked and prevented, right? So this is really, really nice. So if we come over here, as an example on Thunder Cage, this is kind of like if you played other games with crafting like Diablo or other ARPGs or looter shooters, so these are our, essentially our affixes and abilities on here, and we can change these by re-rolling or crafting, right? So the readjustment materials are going to take a fine adjustment control axis, which you can also craft. It takes a minute. Uh, 200 liquid metal, which I don't have, uh, which I will tell you guys, any extra guns, never sell them. Always, always salvage them, okay? Just get rid of them. You get the, the resources for them. It's great. So as an example, weapon option, I can lock three out of these four. So let's say I wanted to lock firearm crit. I wanted to lock weapon change speed and I want to lock weapon or chill attack. Let's just say now I could re-roll this, right? Hit fire accuracy. I could re-roll this 
and then it can become one of these uh, affixes or options over here, okay? And then the readjustment cost would cost me 100,000 gold plus 20 of these materials, and then I would just readjust. So the reason I'm showing you this is because when we upgrade this Thunder Cage, a lot of these may change based on the rolls, right? Because these are high rolls. Some of them are very good rolls because the weapon is level one. So some of these may change, and you can see the ranges here in the, uh, um, your options. I keep, I keep wanting to call them affixes because I've been playing too much Diablo, but you can see the, the ranges here. So like firearm crit, like this is pretty high at 7.9, but you can see the ranges here of your affixes or options, and these may change. So I just wanted to show you that really, really quick. It's very easy to do. It's more for high level stuff when you're trying to reroll, but I do wanna, I do wanna like just go over that. And then we have enhance unique ability. So for example, this unique ability is called overcharge. So we could go into Thunder Cage and we could try to uh, upgrade or boost this unique ability in here, but that's for another video. But I just wanna kind of go over the baseline for some of this stuff. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna go into weapon level transmission, right? We're gonna first select the gun that we wanna use, and then we're just gonna select our highest level, which is a 34. Okay, and you can see the upgrades. It doesn't show you your, your new options or affixes on here, but you do have your new uh, result preview, okay? So we're gonna come in here. I'm just gonna do a long um, press execute because now this weapon's gonna be a lot better. You guys can see the 24, 26 rounds, right? And you can double check this just to be sure. So we're gonna weapon level transmission. Thunder Cage goes from one to 34. It's very, very easy, confirm. Now we have a big boy weapon. And again, see, remember, all those options changed, right? We kept the, we kept the same options it's just the roles change because the roles change based on certain uh you know levels and they all have different colors right so you got i got three grays and a yellow so gray is the lowest blue purple then yellow so the higher color grade you have the better roles that you can get for the weapon so i didn't get the best of roles here but we still got weapon change speed which is nice i really wish that would have stayed on weapon crit hit damage but that's okay so now if we go back, we'll go all the way out. Now I have a level 34 Thunder Cage. I don't have to try to level this up all over again. So this is really nice. I also have my my NAS Devotion Ultimate Gun here, uh, which is really, really cool. So now we can come in here and just, I'm just gonna do this uh, for equip recommended modules. I d highly recommend just doing this from the get-go unless you are, you've been playing a lot and you're high level and you've been through a big part of the game. But just recommended putting this stuff on will just give you the best options initially. But you could definitely change this stuff if you want, depending on what you want to use. But yeah, guys, that is essentially how you do a weapon level transmission. It's super easy to do. It's at first it seemed a little bit confusing, but it's it's really not that bad whatsoever. And we'll we'll even do it one more time just to show you uh, how to do it on another gun. So again, we'll come in with the Naz Devotion. I wanna get rid of this 34 weapon because, well, we'll get rid of this one, right? We'll get rid of this one. And now you can see the increases here, which is super cool. We'll spend another one of the, the phase exchangers. Boom, NAS Devotion goes to 34, easy peasy. Rolls change, which is fine. And now we have a super awesome hand cannon weapon, which is really cool. It's probably not the strongest, I don't think. 11, it is. Well, it's slightly under this one, but this hand cannon is pretty cool, so I'll just keep it. Um, and then we got nothing to upgrade here because that is insane. And then general rounds, this is better. So it is very, very good. So again, always salvage all of your extra weapons. I'm just going to salvage all these now because you get the liquid metal. Always dismantle or junk. I call it salvage, but junk. Junk your weapons. This is a really good way to get your liquid metal so you can upgrade stuff. Again, now that I have over 250, I'll go back over here one more time just to show you that it's easily craftable. So you come over here to a... Uh, Aeneas and the mat one of the magisters research request and then you can go to all and then you can see that the phase precision exchanger is up here because now I have 311 of the 250 it takes 10 minutes to make or you can craft these up however you want super easy to do guys so I hope this video helps you um, I've been in just having an absolute blast on this game and it's been so fun and I can't wait to really get into the end game so yeah guys I hope this video helps clear up some things when it comes to 
upgrading guns and stuff like that over here at the workbench because it can seem a little confusing. So like the video. Let's get this over 50 likes. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any other questions, if you got any other tips inside the workbench for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, as always. Stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.